Hey bestie, I'm Kenya and welcome to my channel. I'm so grateful and super thankful that you're joining in for some fun with me today. So in this video, I will be sharing with you 12 things to track in your planner and I will be featuring these new limited edition pens from Pilot Pen, you guys. And you guys, the Pilot G2 is my most absolute favorite pen to use. So if you want to learn more about these pens and what to write in your planner, stay tuned. Okay, Bessie, so let's have some fun. But first off, I want to say thank you so much to Pilot Pen for sponsoring this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I'm so honored because the Pilot G2.7 is my most absolute favorite pen to use in my planner. And I'm super excited about these two new collections. One, because look at the colors. Bessie, these colors are popping. Okay, so first up, we have the Mineral Art Collection. And it, it does feature some harmony colors in them as you can see on the back but speaking of the harmony collection let's go ahead and look at those this rainbow of color and explosion in this pack you guys oh my god and it includes a black so hey the black g2 is like that's bad so i absolutely love these i love 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 these pens and i'm super excited that now there are some colored ones because i've been thinking about testing out color in my planner so this is just like right on time thank you so much pilot pen for coming out with these two beautiful bright colored collections so bestie just in case i'm introducing you to the pilot g2 pen let me tell you a few reasons why i absolutely love this pen and why it's been perfect for me in my planner journey so so first off, I was actually looking for a very bold gel ink and I just feel like the Pilot G2 answered that call. You guys, it's a very, very dark ink and I absolutely love that. It writes so smooth, okay? My pen does not skip when I'm using it. I love that about it, obviously. And I also like that it dries pretty quickly. And the other thing that's probably top notch about it it does not bleed through my planner pages like i wanted something so bold that it stands out but then also i wanted something that wasn't going to jeopardize my planner so i love 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 that about it you guys i looked and i searched and i'm so happy that i can go into the store particularly target you guys you can go pick these up at target and you can just pick up the pilot g2 and test it out for yourself you guys but i absolutely love it another thing that i love about the pilot g2 is that they are refillable you guys like that's that in itself is amazing so let's talk about this design of the mineral art collection are these beautiful you guys look at that look at that i like the detail on it so it's like a marbled detail to it so pretty but this first color you guys is new and it is called apricot orange it's like a yellow orange color so pretty then we have gray you guys i mean i never thought about having a gray pen but now that i have one I'm excited to use it. And then we got the traditional black, that bold black ink. You guys, you gotta go. If you have not tested out Apology 2, go try it and just let me know in the comments. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> then we have salmon, you guys. Salmon is a very pretty, like, pink tone. Like, that's beautiful. And y'all, another thing that I didn't mention was the grip on these. Like, the grip is amazing. Then we have this color. It's called Iris Blue. Like, isn't that pretty, y'all? That's pretty. So, I'm super excited about these mineral art collections. I feel like that's a perfect little pack, too. You know, just with a little punch of color. So, now let's talk about all of the Harmony colors. Like, whew, you guys, this is these blues in this pack, that's one. And, I mean, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This one, this is gray, obviously. And then we get this purple tone color. Purple is my most favorite color. So I was so happy to see that in the pack. And we get like this navy blue tone. So pretty. I just believe that these are going to be so beneficial to write with. And I'm super excited to color code. So that's what we're going to do today, you guys. Now, this beautiful blue. Like, am I right about these blues? Like, one, we don't hardly see navy blue a lot. So that was beautiful. Then here's that salmon color. And then we also get a black in this pack as well. So they don't leave out that beautiful bold black ink. And then we get the iris blue color again. 
in this pack and then you guys look at this one i thought this color was very interesting it's not like it's like almost like a a cranberry mulberry tone and then we get a traditional red ink you guys a red pen red really stands out on the pages then we also get a green like a lime green tone super pretty so bright and you guys here is our apricot orange again you guys so i am so 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 happy about this rainbow effect i got going on across my desk you guys and i cannot wait to test these out so yes you guys we got to get into it but i want like let me zone in on this beautiful little marble again you guys like let me pick up the pink one because you about you can probably see that one a little bit better but y'all this is pretty i like when companies do details for us just so beautiful so we have these two beautiful collections here the mineral art collection on my right as well as the harmony collection on my left the complete harmony collection so yes y'all i'm excited let's let's have some fun okay so as you guys can tell by the title of this video i wanted to share with you 12 things to track in your planner and i remember as a planner newbie like just getting started in like I guess you could say creative planning particularly you can get caught up in the creative designs but i really want you guys to also be able to use your planner and be able to make sure that it's functional so that's what today's video is all about and we're going to use these brand new pilot pens to talk about it so first up the first thing that you can write in your planner that will probably help you be very productive is your work schedule so i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna write in now you guys i'm a business owner and an entrepreneur so i don't have a traditional clock in and clock out schedule i make my own schedule however i do have a particular work pattern that i like to stick to to get some of the office work paperwork done so i'm gonna write that schedule down and i do these on various days but i also like of course work we work on the go so a lot of the times we can be in the office we can be out of the office on zoom calls and things like that so but i do like to have scheduled out time where i know i'm gonna get paperwork done and make calls into um our various you know partners so I'm putting in my work schedule and I'm going to use this navy blue tone because I don't know, navy blue, it just signified work to me. Like I'm getting it done, you know, it's a professional color, it's false. Then I'm going to use the color purple and I'm going to just write in some life event events that I have in my planner as I think about them. So first up, I know on Saturday, I've got a birthday party to attend. So I'm going to put that in this box here and you guys let me know below if you are into color color coding what i find with color coding is it really allows you to have things to pop out at you so i feel like that's one big benefit um and it, it helps me recognize like what i have going on for the week like do i have a lot of work to do do i have a lot of like social events to attend do i have a lot of errands to run that type of thing so that really really helps me i love color coordinating my calendar and specifically my business planner so the third thing that i would like to share with you guys is fun things to do make sure you include something fun in your planner like in your schedule in your week we can work 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 but sometimes you need to sit back and just relax and you know enjoy life in the process so something fun that i'll be doing this week is having a movie night with my husband we're still trying to decide if we want to go to the movies or if we want to do something at home but we know we want to have a movie night and we always like to do tuesday night you guys because you know tuesday is typically the cheaper movie night at our movie theater our local movie theater and so we like to like you know take advantage of that but i'm also gonna write in a brunch that we'll be doing on saturday and well we have plans to do this brunch i really really want to go to brunch we've been talking about it at one of my most favorite restaurants and then also i have some other things but i'm gonna try to see if i want to actually count them as fun things or something else later on in the video so number four something we cannot forget and one of them we won't forget we never will forget when it's payday but we don't need to be forgetting our bills either so i like to write those in from time to time on my planner spread and here i'm just gonna write them in green because you know money is green so i have a couple of bills that are due on friday and i'll be putting those they're actually on auto pay but i like to remind myself that they're coming out you know what i mean so that's something great number five errands you guys i mean we all run errands we all have errands to run so 
I really like I like the color red for errands because it's like okay you got to get up and do this stuff and so here I'm gonna write in that I need to go to Walmart because we most likely grocery shop a lot of our groceries come from Walmart then Target because I want to pick up a birthday present and then I do need to go to TJ Maxx I feel like I go to TJ Maxx every week <laughs> comment below if you do too I also want to write in that I need to go to Office Depot and actually print out some stickers you guys i do print my stickers at office depot if you guys didn't know that and then i need to make a sales run because you know we buy things in bulk a few things in bulk and then i also need to go to the cleaners and drop off something so i'm gonna write that in on a couple of these little task lists and i use those task lists for those little checklists for various things sometimes they could be errands sometimes they could be tasks sometimes they could be other things in other categories and so you'll see later on in the video okay next i'm gonna use this maroon cranberry tone for my meal plan and i'm gonna write it over here in the left side bar and i thought a vertical spread would be very beneficial for everybody to see how they can just utilize the whole spread so i'm gonna write out my meal plan and meal prep for monday through friday and i thought the sidebar and the vertical was just the perfect spot for this you know to write out your meal prep because it's kind of like meal prep but you can obviously write out your dinners every single day across the week so I just chose to write it in this little corner and all I did was kind of make me like a little small little habit tracker labeling the days and I'm going to write out what we're having for dinner. Okay, so now that we got that one done, the next thing that I'm thinking that we can write in our planner is chores, y'all. We got to do chores. I mean, got to keep the house clean, got to wash your clothes and all that stuff. So I'm going to go in and write my chores down. And because I'm not really going to be in the office on Wednesday as much, I plan to do a, get a lot of my errands done on that day as well as some chores around the house. So I'm going to put in kitchen. I need to clean the kitchen. Like when I say chores now, obviously I have a nighttime routine and morning routine. So I like to do these things throughout the week. But like I like to make sure I have a focus day of these things as well. So kitchen, the bedrooms. Then also, I want to make a little chore list for Thursday as well because I do have a little bit of time on on Thursday to get some stuff done as well. So that's going to be my laundry day. And I like to multitask. I mean, I know there's some multitaskers out there. So let me know in the comments if you multitask too. So it's like do laundry. I'm going to deep clean the bathrooms. And we're going to wash my makeup brushes. That's important. Skincare. And then I'm also going to clean up my craft space. You guys, after, you know, planning and content creating, it can get a little messy. So I like to make sure I have a specified time to clean it. So number eight, let's talk about self-care and personal goals, y'all. Like, I love self-care. I like to, you know, make sure I'm taking care of me because I can't pour from an empty cup. So I do try to take some time for my day. So I'm going to write in something that I have to do anyway. It's almost like a chore, but I like to see it as self-care. So make sure you're labeling your categories properly when you're color coding okay have the most positive outlook on them and so wash day for me is like a, a form of self-care i like to make it as relaxing as possible <laughs> but i also like to enjoy myself and then i'm going to make sure that i schedule a nail appointment now that's a task or to do but it's a form of self-care it's a form of saying i'm making sure i'm scheduling me and onto my planner and then i'm gonna make sure that i do my beauty routine on thursdays is when i like to do that right before you know all the friday saturday sunday activities and i'm good and good and ready to go and then also i like to write mental notes to myself like as form of, as a form of self-care and personal goal and one of my things is to make sure i'm getting rest okay so thursday is gonna be like my night to just say you know what i need to get in the bed and make sure i get a good night's rest this week for sure I try to get that every night, but I at least want to make sure I'm focused on it at some point. <laughs> okay, and I'm also going to treat myself to something nice on Sunday. That could be anything, you guys. You could be, you know, treat myself to a dessert or something. Okay, number nine. I'm going to take this apricot orange color and I'm going to make me 
like a list of things that I want to do in my free time. But specifically, I know something that I want to do this week is read. <laughs> so I do definitely need to put that down. I'm thinking, should I put it on Tuesday? Because Tuesday could be that since it's wash day and I'll be like deep conditioning and stuff. Or, well, Friday actually too would be a good night to just sit back and just chill and read as well. So I'm going to put it on Friday. And if I do maneuver, I can always put it on Tuesday as well. So I'm going to put that. I got a little form of, you know, free time. Squeeze in some free time activities. And I'm also going to make sure that in my free time, I always like to do an extra planner. Se- like a, just a little planner says, y'all. My planner is, you know, it's my little piece, my little retreat. So I like to get in some planning time to some decorative planning, creative time. Now, number 10, we're going to talk about gratitude, y'all. I like to include this in my planner spread or in my journal at some point. And I feel like the vertical layout is very good for the gratitude list as well, because you do have this sidebar. So I'm going to make me a gratitude list for this week. And I'm just going to write a couple of things that I'm super, super just, I'm just so grateful for just super grateful for so that's something that you can do and i'm gonna use this iris blue color y'all this color is so pretty it is so pretty all of these colors and you guys just speaking of these pens y'all they write so well like i kid you not like they write just like the black ones like the black g2s do just in colors i think it's like i think i might be hooked on the color thing now like adding some color in my planner i actually think it'll be really pretty to match up my colored pens with my planner spreads i think it'll be really pretty okay so now that i have my gratitude list number 11 i'm gonna go in and write in my must do task for the week and i just i'm just chose black because i mean i gotta get them done okay so i'm just gonna they're gonna be in black because i I have quite a few of them but i'm gonna get them done so i'm gonna write in a little task list on monday because i need to make an eye doctor appointment i also need to set up a new account and i need to send some money to one of my friends and i need to call my mama (laughs) <laughs> I need to call my mama, you guys. And then I also need to call my brother, too. So I need to check on him and see. He has some exciting news. So I want to get an update. So I'm going to put that on my list as well. I'm just trying to think where I could put it. And I thought Wednesday would be good to give him a little time to kind of experience the good news. And so I'm going to put him on my task list. Okay, and then I'm going to make another little list, uh, like for the weekend. And what I also do in my planner, you guys, when I'm writing out the things that I want to do and stuff, like sometimes I'll make a whole list on Saturday and I might not do it to Sunday. So like this weekend list kind of can go for both days. So, and that's just however you lay your stickers out as well. So I'm go- I want to make sure that I get like a little inventory list going in my craft space and, you know, I got to call my uncle and update him on something just you know some random to do's that i want to do across the weekend so i filled those in all right so now that i got that going now let's talk about the last thing which is next week's prep that i like to include in my planner you guys and the reason why i think this is important is because like you know how you how you prep for the week it kind of helps determine your week how smooth it can go you know if all goes well so i like to do like a little weekly prep session and i in this weekly prep session i like to you know make sure i got my clothes together for the week or like an idea of what i want to wear that just helps me productivity wise and i want to like you know pre-plan and all that stuff and i want to meal prep so that's what i got going on you guys and i just went in and filled in some extra things that i know that i have in my schedule and you know laundry i got a couple more events a family day on sunday i wanted to write in church and everything and i love the colors y'all all the colors are popping i particularly chose a black and white spread for this video because i wanted you guys to see the colors pop on the spread and i absolutely yeah i think this is this is a thing this is gonna be a thing y'all and you can definitely i like to leave a little bit of white space on my planner too just in case some things come up so y'all these pens are absolutely amazing i'm super impressed because you know you never know how color and as you can see y'all like i said no bleed through like that is a positive a positive no bleed through there's so many great things about the pilot g2 y'all just i just love the pen 
okay i love the pen it's my most favorite pen to use the point seven is so bold it's like i feel like i can get in small spaces with it but i also like that boldness and pop that it comes off of my planner and it just brings my after the pens to life and i'm so grateful and super thankful that now all of these beautiful colors are available and i can add a little fun to my planner now and i'm super excited to see how it looks so yeah y'all let me know your thoughts below have you tried the pilot g2 definitely go to target and pick up you a pack of these you can get them in store and online you guys and again thank you so much to pilot for sponsoring this video so thank you so much bestie for watching please like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i want to thank you all for being so sweet and so kind and until next time i love you guys bye